a small blue Grecian wedgewood vase tied with wire mesh, the roses fell apart. She's an extraordinary package of, of talent. She is basically an amazing polymath. Whoever wants me to love him must never look gloomy, understand, and he must be able to lift me up high in the palm of his hand. She actually lived here and she died uh, shortly after the end of the war in July 1945. That is the reason why some of us try to remember her here in England. One thing that we're hoping that this particular celebration will begin to do um, is to open English ears um, to her um, amazing talents, her amazing message, just as this exhibition is opening English eyes to the fact that she was a visual genius as well. So Maria Pawlikowska Jasnorzewska is a famous poet in Poland, but we don't know her so well as an, a visual artist. She, her paintings are exposed here at the Young Poland exhibition. And this event today, her poetry, is part of this vision of Tony and Basia and also a broader group of people to bring Maria back into the focus, to bring to her to our awareness as a wonderful artist that has been a polymath using different forms. I have to give credit to our wonderful collaborators uh, Basia Bogoczak and Professor Tony Howard because it was in fact Basia Bogoczak who came up with the idea of including Maria in the exhibition, which was a vital and genius uh, idea, which, which comprises a, a, a significant part of, uh, of the exhibition. The whole place is sort of breathing her at the moment, you know, her work downstairs, and we're reading her words in this lovely room, the acanthus room, so, you know, perfect. I love beauty, don't I? The painting is not about beauty. About. Oh, if only I knew. <laughs> well now, how's your marmalade? Is that any good? <laughs> Thank you. It's very good indeed. Oh. You're quite correct. I should confine myself to confiture. Her playwriting is incredibly important. She was a very uh, gifted writer and a successful one. Uh, she used the medium of comedy, sometimes farce, to talk about important ideas and important subjects, highlighting very often uh, the um, untenable situation of women in the society. I loved her work straight away. It immediately made sense to me. Uh, romantic but also incredibly strong. She's got a good ear and she's got a, a mischievous twist at the end. So there's love, there's loss, there's mourning, but there's also humour. The green snakes, fluffy owls, like quiet nocturnes, like jagged gargoyles in the galleries of Notre Dame de Paris. We've always attempted um, to honour the form of her language um, as well as the ideas. Um, so uh, working on her poetry, which we've done for um, a bilingual edition in, in Poland over the years, um, has sometimes taken quite a long time um, as you try and find the right rhyme, um, the perfect rhythm. Ivory black. Yes, that's a very expensive paint. It takes a whole elephant to make one. <laughs> uh, you're making fun of a layman. But will you be using ivory black to paint every eyelash one by one? Of course. Val, you blinked. Well, won't that spoil something, Maestro? No, 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 no. <laughs> you're allowed to blink too. Oh, darling, you can blink. 1937 was that radio play. The same year, Maria began writing what became her most famous play of all a brilliantly satirical, hysterically funny, but savage satire on Hitler and on attacks on women's rights. When the enemy parachutist, after a doomed flight, wounded, broken and weak, landed in a meadow next to the small house that Anne owned and the farmer's wife, Anne took him prisoner saying, sorry. <laughs> it's wonderful that we can have that format of an artist 
um, who was able to connect the Polish experience and the British experience. And this is what we have to strive to do, to bring her closer to our attention and to make her artistic input duly recognized. <laughs>